Jamie Lee Curtis. Did I not talk about that? Did I not talk about Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, daughter's son? Watch the Greasy Strangler. Thanks for the Nightmare 7 stop. <laughs> You're welcome. Talk about the whale. I will. Okay. Shit, man. Um, geez, do I have a picture of the saved? I might because I posted it on Telegram, so I might have it at the ready. I do. I do. Okay. So this is Jamie Lee Curtis. Very, very, very famous actress. Uh, she won Best Supporting Actress, I believe, as an Oscar uh, from the Academy because of her role in Everywhere All at Once. Everywhere and Everything All at Once. I tried watching it. It's like three hours long. One hour in, she's in the IRS. There was a great scene where a bunch of IRS agents get murdered. That was an amazing scene. I loved that scene. But then it got really weird really fast, and I just couldn't I, – I lost interest, and I just toned out. But – but everyone's like, ooh, she should get, what a great movie. They should win every Oscar ever made. And I'm like, um, well, I didn't finish it. But that's Jamie Lee Curtis. She's an IRS agent, and apparently she has some kind of supernatural powers or some shit. I don't fucking know. I didn't watch it. It was kind of shitty. Uh, but Jamie Lee Curtis walks out to the Oscars and accepts her Academy Award with her transgender daughter uh, named Ruby Graymane. And as it turns out, Ruby Graymane, the uh, daughter son of a, a very famous actress, is this thing. Jamie Lee Curtis' son looks like an archetypical character of a porn adult basement dwelling mouth breeder, so it's really no surprise that her baby mom, boy mom instinct is to demand every woman in the world give him exactly once all the time. Uh, he posts this picture of him because after, after the media found out that he was like this gross weirdo, they all made fun of him. So he posts this picture of him saying, or him wearing a shirt saying, bigger dick than you, bigger tits than your wife's, uh, which is pretty gross. This is him, by the way. This is his, He's a VTuber on Twitch. I actually want to see. I kind of I I, I have to show you this now. Um... No, that's like an ASMR thought. Where is his Twitch channel? Aha. He go. He has a goblin fetish. He's sexually attracted to Tristana and um the other the other short stack from League of Legends. So he he calls himself a charity goblin. His thing is a goblin, and we can go to his videos. I kind of want to show you his avatar. Show support to people. There we go. But like you uh, want to. My internet died for the a deep voice is his and look at how like professionally rigged his thing is i think he has oh he has an amd sponsorship he's like connected to an a amd group i'm pretty sure something that a lot of people would kill kill for i kind of went one without the thought let's see he's like playing boyfriend Weaponized dungeon or some hot shit. sauce cocktail lit coming right up Oh, here's this other person oh, wow. voicing this his uh looks like a tiny crime scene down the I don't want to hear you, lady. Shut the fuck up. I want to see him playing League of Legends. This is him playing uh League of Legends, climbing in league. What's his rank? Where are you at, bro? I don't know what his rank is. This is not League of Legends. This is some other shit. This is that other game. This is not League of Legends. You're fucking lying to me, bro. Okay, that's him doing his room page. I want to see his rank. Howdy, howdy. Well, wow. look at that. Look at how many times this character of his appears on screen. He has it on the background. His OBS layout is a fucking disaster, but he has like a professional multi-thousand dollar 3D facially animated rig for his face. And then he has like a really like standard line computer. So it lags because it's animating this, this freak goblin character while it's also streaming a video game and shit. And I kind of want to see what is. Uh... What rank is this? Is this just silver? I can't. They changed the borders. I don't recognize it. What rank is he on? Just silver? Someone who plays this fucking tranny game, tell me what, what his rank is. I can't tell anymore because I've changed it. It's silver. It's silver bronze. Okay. Oh, they have one, one, two, three, four in one show up as like studs on it now. So he's actually in silver. He's like 
in the he's in the bottom 50% of the game. Like silver 5 and bronze 1 is um like if you're in uh those tiers you're in the the bottom 50. And he plays Draven, I guess. That's surprising. I thought he would play Tristana. Very fascinating. Very fascinating. And he gives all his money. He says in this thing, he's called Charity Goblin because all of his super chat money goes straight to charity because mommy Jamie Lee Curtis is a multi-million dollar famous actress and he doesn't have, he has literally no need for money. He has, he has zero financial restraints on his life. So he can do, he can buy whatever computer he wants and pay people to rig up his OC character Goblin and then uh, live that life playing video games 24-7, injecting each HRT into his, into his ball sack because Mommy Jamie Lee Curtis will pay for all of it. And if he makes money in the process, he just gives it away to the, I think the Trevor Foundation is what he says in his description. Very fascinating, very fascinating. Oh, bottom 41%. Thank you. I didn't know. It's around there. They release the statistics every so often. I guess for this season, if you're in that, if you're in his um his rank you're in the bottom 41 percent. i see checks out checks out that makes sense that's that, that's in line with what i know okay that's the jamie lee curtis thing uh what next let's go chat let's go what else 